Yes, my Between the Lioners, welcome back to the latest episode of the Old Trafford Vlogs. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool. Does it get any bigger than this? The last game I went to Old Tra Trafford was United versus Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Obviously, that didn't turn out too great. Other previous big games that I've been to, United versus PSG, United versus Barcelona. I went to the Manchester Derby last year for the FA Cup final at Wembley as well. I'm really excited, to be honest. I know we're not in the greatest of form this season. We've taken a, a lot of losses at Old Trafford. Liverpool are in good form. They're potentially title challenging as well. Have, have we got any reason to be optimistic? Any reason to be confident? The last few days, I ain't really been confident, to be honest. But the closer I get to Old Trafford, the closer we get to kick off, the more confident I'm getting and I think that we can get a result. If only the United players turn up, put in a bit of fight, put in a bit of commitment and then we have a chance. We need some energy. We need to rile up the Old Trafford fans and that can only happen if the players put in the same type of energy. Uh, the Liverpool fans are bringing 9,000 of them so I'm sure they're going to be loud. We have to make Old Trafford a fortress again so it's got to start from now to be honest. So hopefully the boys can make a game out of it. Uh, I've heard Casemiro's injured on my way here, so that's obviously a bad start. We needed him in that middle, to be honest. Even though he's not even on good form, he still makes a difference to our team. Most of the games that we've won this season have involved him in the starting lineup. So hopefully we get some goals anyway. Marcus, he always scores against the top six sides. This is your chance again to shine. Scored a bang again in the Manchester derby. Hopefully he does it again today. My prediction, 2-1 United. Let me know in the comments what you think about that one. I'm on my way to the game. You're going to see more footage of the game and then pre-match and warm-up and stuff. I'm fasting as well, so I'm already feeling hungry and it's early still. But yeah, see you in a bit. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe.
Guess what between the liners? I can't believe what I've just witnessed. Four three in extra time, an Ahmad winner against Liverpool. I can't even be bothered to analyse the game, but first half, first 20 minutes, we finally saw some hard work from the boys, and that's all we've been crying out for for months, for a whole season. I just wanted to see some hard work and passion, and finally, we got a bit of that. For the first time in a long time, and two goals in extra time, one from Marcus Rashford after he missed what felt like three, four sitters, and then Ahmad Diallo, oh my word. What a performance when he came on. Why has Ten Hag not been playing him this whole time? Even got sent off for his celebration. The best game I've ever been to in my life. My voice, I'm losing it. I need to break my fast. <laughs> the time's gone. Oh, wow. Uh, what can we even say? Uh, to be honest, also Maguire. A big shout out to Maguire when he came on. I thought he was absolutely monstrous. Lindelof had a great game. wan had a great game. Shout out to Ten Hag because he made a few substitutions that I wasn't so sure about. But Anthony scored. Ahmad scored. Maguire had a great game as well. <laughs> I'm in dreamland, best game I've ever been to. Hope you like the footage. I might say more later, I don't know. Uh, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe. Thank you, Manchester United. Finally, we've got something to be proud of this season and well done to the boys. At one point, it looked like we are down and out near the end of the 90 minutes and we've come back to win 4-3, even after going behind so many times. I'm so proud of the boys today. This is the best game I've ever seen live. Thank you, United. Thank you, Ten Hag. To Old Trafford crowd, unbelievable today. See United and F off home, you already know the rest. Peace out. Between Between the lines. Lines.